here's the thing. You know, Saronsky, if you draft him at eight, I can hear Mercedes Benz right now. It's a <sighs> snore fest. But you need him. He could plug in at left guard, and then he could eventually the heir apparent to Jake, right? No doubt. I'm not telling you it, would, it wouldn't be the smart play, but it's one of those, man, really? Like, come on, man. That's what I'm going to hear. Come on, Dukes, really? Well, come on. But again, this was not an elite. I've said it a million times. You guys know. There's not exactly, unless you're really excited about Yannick Ngwakwe, okay? It's not exactly the elite pass rush All right. and the free agency. So here's the deal. You went tight end. You went wide receiver in our third first-round pick. It's got to be edge rush. It's got to be defense. It's got to be defense, right? Even if it's a corner, it's got to be defense. We're the worst defense in the league. Yeah, but, I mean, let's, look, as much as we dig Pitts and what he can be, because, again, I, he was hurt last year. For me, this is a proven year for Pitts, guys, by the way. I'm not rolling into the season going, well, I expect him to play six games, and I'm cool with it, and then we're going to cut a big check. Pitts has got to play, and he's got to produce. I know he had 1,000 yards with Matt. I got to be consistent. Mike, I got I to gotta do that right. year in and year out. He's supposed to be the unicorn. So they got to find a way to get him in the end zone and find a way to use him. It's year three for Pitts, one year pro bowler, one year injured. No, injured. And, and so you know what that is? Inconclusive. That's what that is. I can't tell you he's this, but I certainly don't think he's the injured guy that's going to be there, you know, having issues throughout his career. But with that said, I'm, my thing with the, the whole draft, when Pitts was drafted, we all went, what? What excites you? What gets you excited about this football team? Where's it going to go? And that's why I bring up the quarterback right. deal. You can tell me all you want. What? I'm just telling you, if we were in this hunt, Mike, we'd be taking phone calls from here to the end of the draft. Well, how about this? While well, we're just uh, giving you something to think about, tell the listeners what you said to me earlier about something we could do at eight. Well, there's a guy named Bijan Robinson who's a game changer and an explosive player and a difference maker. But he plays running back. And I've been banging about defensive end or the trenches, offensive line, edge rush. And then you plant that little kernel in my noggin today. <laughs> you know, like I said it earlier for guys who miss it, like, like Inception. And now I'm thinking to myself, self, we love Algier, but boy, if you get B. John Robinson, you got a Derrick Henry to prototype that you saw how good Arthur Smith's offense was in Tennessee. That's the best Rabel was in Tennessee when Derrick Henry in his prime. And then you take pressure off Ritter. Let me ask you. I mean, that's that's a that's a total package, right? There. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. And now you and now, even though we don't technically need a running back in the first round, we'll go right. get one later. The town would go bananas over that. Let me tell you something. Let me ask you this: Who are the home run hitters on this team? No, I'm talking about home run hitters. I'm talking about a five yard out, Mike, and it's a home like yeah. we're going to Doesn't the house. Doesn't exist on this team. We don't have it. Bijan is that kind of guy. Okay. I'm not telling you that's how they're going to use him, whoever drafts him, but he has that ability. I need more home run hitters. Right. We and don't have him. Algier was a tremendous, pleasant surprise, and he runs people over through them, but he, you're talking well, about he a runs different, hard. But you're talking about a different type of running back. It's going to be interesting. And the left guard position has got to figure itself out as well. But do not discount that they may go offensive line there at eight. And I just think the, the response may be blah, but mm. it may be the best pick in the draft if you look at it from a team-building standpoint. 